So he asked you to measure this width now? Yes. Okay. So you met one at this width as part of your calculation? Yep. Okay. So just like that, six o'clock, nine o'clock. Four yep. places. Nice thing is okay. it's got eight holes around the center. Okay. So Equally spaced, so you can go every two holes and measure. Okay. So you measured and you gave that and that you recorded it. Yeah. That becomes part of it. Okay. So we have two measurements at 3.158 and uh -huh. two ten thousandths. And two measurements at 3.158 and zero ten thousandths. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. So now we measured the drop, we measured the width, we're measuring the spacer, and then it's all going to make sense. Okay, I got you. Just so you know, I think you're doing it the same way we did it, but let's not worry about that. Okay? This is a double check on the double check. I like it. Yeah, no, it's good to have this. This is awesome. To do it with this, you got to make sure that you at least have a good dial depth. Gauge. Yeah. Well, we certainly have enough people standing around watching you, uh, Robin, so this is always good. Do you like an audience? Not necessarily. <laughs> You're doing well, though. <laughs> I'm a machinist. We like to put our heads down and get into it. All right. So there you're just doing a verification of the gauge, right? Exactly. Right. Verify the gauge, check the limits at both ends, and make sure it's consistent. It's a jewel dial from Mitotoyo, and they guarantee the accuracy within one ten thousandth of an inch. The graduation is only in a thou but they guarantee the accuracy of one ten thousand, so it's good enough for the measurement. So... Two point two seven five seven. Two point two seven six six. Two point two seven six one. The nice part about this gauge is for things like this where you need a light touch, it's only the pressure in the spring. Whereas with the ratchet, you could possibly over tension, sometimes depending on the person's feel and their experience with the micrometer. Is because I pressed it too hard, or it could be the ratchet or the micrometer, yeah. and just every person's feel is individual yeah. and different. You'll always get a different reading, exactly. But like I said, with this, it's nice because it's only the pressure of the spring. You set it down, yeah. let it sit flat, and it's all the same consistent pressure every time. You got quick it's just a matter of too. you, yeah, reading. Yep, this was my living for 10 years. That's so awesome. This is what you do. So, I'll measure the same four locations on the opposite side of the race just for consistency's sake. Two point two seven six seven. Two point two seven seven. Two point two seven seven two. Two 
2.2762. That is cool. Yeah. Yeah. So 395 minus that twice, which is 700, is 0.695. Okay, so that bar that you had on top was how wide? 350,000. 350,000, so we got to take that off of every measure. Yeah. So that you get 0. 0.695. Yes. So we get exactly 8,000. Take the day again, Robin. Can you so, he's a superhero. So, well, so the bench and play is 8,000. It was pretty logical, but yeah. I mean, we didn't think of it, right? We're measuring from the top of that. I was going to say, I'm like, that's one thing we have to make sure in Dukes when you were measuring. I'm like, yeah, we have to make sure we have to take the gauge With the bar off. included, the only thing you can figure out sure, is Nathan, the Sure, Nathan, now you tell us after we figured it out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Late to the game. Yeah. Yep. This bear. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. That is so cool. <laughs> that's a failure. Holy oh, holy. That is... I've never seen uh, rollers do that before I attempt it. This is, this is a good opportunity. We can just bab at these and turn it into a I radial know. bearing. Actually, you could put that in a museum. <laughs> chroming. Yeah, yeah, chroming fixes everything, right? So from looking at that, do you think it's the uh, that would be the unloaded or the loaded set? So that This is the loaded okay. set because you see? Yeah. yeah. Aside okay, it's from good the, on all that the side. rust, the, this way okay. stays fine. Wow. And it is basically the cage that has melted between yeah. the cage failure. Okay. That is so cool. That's the cage the inside. Ca the, yeah, the cage has cut into the raceway. You see? Yeah, yeah. It has created like a groove. <laughs> wow. That's so it was not engineered that way. <laughs> it's like an oil groove. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is amazing.